My name's Kelly, I am a CBT therapist and psychologist. And today I wanted to talk about COGS. Um, so COGS are used in CBT and psychology as a way of seeing things that can continue a difficulty or continue a problem. So if you imagine a, a clockwork mechanism that you have one main COG in the middle and you have all these other COGS going around, and as these cogs turn, they continue to turn the central cog. So at the central cog, it could be low mood, it could be anxiety, it could be anger. And you've got all these other little cogs that go around that maintain that difficulty for an individual. So you could see them as maintenance cycles, you could see them as vicious flowers, but sometimes the cog work is quite a nice visualisation. So for example, if we take anxiety, so you've got anxiety as your big cog in the middle. So some of the things, okay, so you've got that for it, for whether you're looking at yourself or with someone that you're working with and thinking that is their main difficulty, anxiety, but what are the things that are maintaining it? So it could be that they avoid certain situations. It could be that they, they keep themselves busy. It could be that they escape certain situations. It could be that they, they try and keep themselves safe but in doing so they may be avoiding or escaping and it could be that they, they kind of hyper fixate on certain things that they feel to be a threat because they're anxious it could even be some sort of distorted thinking so some anxious thinking and as all of those cogs continue to turn this cog continues also therefore continuing to maintain the difficulty let's hold that there let's think about so low mood so low mood is your middle cog then you've got your cogs around it, so it could be that an individual yourself, you're, you're doing less things. It could be that you withdraw from engaging with other people or certain situations or, or work, that you isolate. It could be that you're engaging in, in, in negative thinking and quite mean thinking towards yourself. Um, it could be that you neglect yourself, maybe not showering or looking after your personal hygiene or even your diet as much. So you've got all of those little cogs clicking away and as you're doing that, the low mood is maintained. So if you've got that, and then, okay, let's think about anger. So you've got anger, then you maybe you've got that, that fight response kind of really getting there. You may have quite hot thoughts that are, are keeping it going. It may be that you will find it difficult to regulate your emotions. It could be that the, the certain situations, or maybe that you get yourself in because the that they're the ones that are kind of the triggering situations, but you're not unable to avoid them. And again, with that, they're all clicking around and the anger is still maintaining. So once you understand, first of all, also your central cog, and then thinking about what are those little cogs that are continuing to keep your clockwork going. Once you've done that, this is where the therapeutic aspect will come in. Even that is therapeutic in itself, that insight. But once you get an idea of those little cogs, you can take off each cog and you can work on that. So say if it is that someone is doing less, you can think about behavioural activation. So scheduling in, scheduling in activities and getting people to do more. If it's a negative thinking, you can look at cognitive restructuring and how you can change someone's thoughts and make them more balanced or create alternative thoughts. Or if it is someone that is avoiding certain situations, it would be about maybe creating a hierarchy that an individual could slowly go into situations that they've previously avoided because of their anxiety. And when you've done that, you're taking away the cogs. Therefore, the clock isn't going to keep ticking. And that is how you can support someone to break apart all of their, their maintenance factors so you can then help to reduce that central cogs that central difficulty i hope that explains it i find this way of looking at things quite helpful uh, it's quite a visual way as well you can draw it all out in session so or you can draw it out with yourself so i hope you found that helpful i have lots of other uh, videos on my page so please like and subscribe and thank you for watching take care